Or shall we? Yes. Uh, exactly. That late conversation, it's been trending across platforms, X, online, offline. Mom Z, Mom Z, Debbie, those are the buzzwords or the hashtags mm. that have been trending uh, for a couple of days. But let's take a look at uh, what people have been saying about this. Then we'll get into the conversation proper as some sort of background. So uh, it started with a tweet uh, from Momsy Debbie about how she wakes up really early to cook for her husband and then a lot of things have happened since then. Goodwill from a lot of Nigerians. But then the debate about it is what we're looking into this morning. There's this particular tweet. No, you didn't even give a... There's, there's an aspect you, you, you missed out, which was the it. fact that the reason why she started waking up was because her husband came one day and said, uh, a colleague, his colleague rather, maybe a female colleague, uh, brings an extra spoon for him to join her in eating. When she heard that, she had to say, okay, oh, we have to wake up as early as possible so that uh, from uh, eating with colleague it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't go beyond that something else. The perhaps. handshake does not go beyond the elbow. Right. So uh, let me read some of the comments you know, that actually elicited um, conversation from Nigerians across the globe. Mm. Some of the reactions to Momzi's um, post. This uh, is from Uju Aya. She says, Madam, you went on the internet to say you'll start waking up at 4am to cook lunch for your husband because you fear long throats will drive him from begging well and um, this one also says husband the agbaya is with a woman and you think she's an she has an idea how to care for a man what drove her to be with a woman if it wasn't to be with a like-minded person so right. quite a number of uh, comments there right. we, well, we, 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 we have joining us to provide clarity uh, to these issues particularly to these extreme views those who are on the feminist side and the others who are actually supporting Mommy View's disposition towards her family life. We have joining us uh, Solomon Bucci, is a social commentator and writer. And also we have joining us, well, Mr. Bucci joins us from the United Kingdom. We also have joining us um, on the program uh, Fola Folayo, who is a journalist and media entrepreneur. Fola, thank you for joining us. They both join us virtually. Thank you very much for having me. Okay, so ladies first, right? I'm going to start with you, Fola, <laughs> for obvious reasons. Uh, I'm sure you followed um, the conversation. So what resonated with you the most? Now, particularly with those uh, who supported Momzi's post. Um, to be honest, when I saw the post and the extreme views, I was not particularly surprised because that's how conversations like this tend to go on social media. Um, we, we tend to treat it as if it's an either or situation, but it, it's not exactly black and white. Uh, for the people who think, oh, she shouldn't have been doing that, you know, uh, domestic labor, this, this, that, that, we have to understand that this is a woman in her husband's, um, in her marriage, a very young marriage, to, to be, you know, to be clear. And for whatever reason, she feels like this is the best way to handle her, you know, her situation. Um, but when I saw the response, especially when Nigerians started to contribute for her, I was happy for her. I mean... Um, I, it also pointed, it, it points out something to me that a lot of the issues that we tend to debate about, especially the ones that we call uh, either feminist problems or patriarchy problems, they're just poverty problems, to be honest. Uh, the reason is because um, just, I think it was yesterday morning or so, I saw a tweet from this same lady where she said she, now she has to, she can sleep for as long as she wants because she now has a fridge and a microwave. That had you know, that has solved the problem of waking up extra early. And, you know, to be sincere, if, if you look at it on the surface, you know, you might want to say, uh, why should a pregnant woman be waking up at 4.30 to make lunch, you know, or why should she have to be worried, you know, about her husband eating from somewhere else because she couldn't make lunch. But the issues are not black and white. There are nuances to this issue. All right. Let, 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 let's, let's head to Bucci. Um, I, I want to read a tweet, which is where I want you to take it from in terms of your perspective. It's a, uh, this is from Fabman NG. says, here's my take. 
Fools should be made out of love, concern, and care, not as a strategy to keep a man. Because, honestly, a woman can't keep and a man who does a woman can keep a man who doesn't want to be kept men i believe irrespective of how much you feed them know where their heart lies again if the food is a strategy how many more scenarios will she need to mark or protect territory it will get exhausting and that's why partners need to be disciplined and on my on on the part of the man maintain that boundary uh, I, i'm sure you heard what i read uh, buchi what's your response yeah. Yeah, I did. So basically, I think that in marriage, um, acts of service is something that has to be there, right? And a lot of times, people tend to judge acts of service based on their preconceived notions. So it's very possible that Mommy Z only wanted to cover up that space, right? Um, I made a tweet a couple of days ago, and I said, nobody should be sweet as to your spouse more than you, right? So I think she saw that as an opportunity to want to serve her husband. So she's asking herself, if I can cook for my husband in the morning, if it's something that's very possible, why should I leave it to a stranger to actually cook for him? And um, one of the, you know, the initial attacks that they actually got um, was actually from people who profess to be feminist. They said, oh, he's broke. Oh, you know, he's 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 a wicked guy or all the work he's working. Why has he not been able to get, you know, get high refrigerator? And, you know, I, I don't think that we're trying to get to this to, to the same place. At the end of the day, it was the men who were actually termed as misogynistic that actually rallied around or that started you know the flurry of giftings and and you know and the naira rain on them it was actually the men that started it the feminists kept on criticizing I, I understand being oppressed i understand you know the conversation of women wanting better you know in the society but i think that being hypercritical can put you in a place where you begin to see everything through the lens of oppression follow your last words yeah, uh, my last word is, is you know, that at the end of the day, we should be very careful about making blanket statements and blanket judgments, especially when we tend to, when we look at, you know, the extremities and we generalize and say, oh, because there are extreme people on the internet, then that means that this entire um, principle or this ideology is wrong. Feminism is not the problem here. Extremists are the problem. I mean, there are tons of feminists on social media who are not necessarily subscribed to these extreme ideologies that you see. And a lot of times you, you have to look at individual cases and individual people and individual situation before you can say, oh, this is what works and this, is, this, this doesn't work. Um, finally, I'm happy for Monizy, but I think that as, as people, we should not generalize this is not uh, this is not an indict this should not be an indictment on feminists all over the world or in Nigeria. We should be able to say, oh, certain people on the internet are have extreme views and this doesn't re necessarily represent feminism or feminism. Well, a fine place to leave it and of course a uh, deep cause for reflection there. We'd like to thank you very much. Of course, we could have gone on and on <laughs> with the gifts, but we'll leave it there for now. Thank you very much for La Folayo, uh, journalist and media entrepreneur who joined us from Rwanda, and Solomon Bucci, a social commentator and writer who joined us from the United Kingdom. And that's the show for today, guys. Oh, what amazing. a ride. I'm just what, curious, what, yeah. really. Mm. Uh, so is the solution some are proffering is that the husband uh, cook for himself, mm. cooks for himself before he goes to work? Mm. Is that what people are proffering? Will that have solved the situation for some of the people who held that extreme view? But hey, let us know what you think. Hashtag CTV morning brief. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, again, society, um, because women are seen as vulnerable. So some of these ladies, well, uh, the extremes that she referred to is... They are combat ready all the time, you know, uh, to attack and all of that. We understand that position because if you know what women go through, sure. you can also understand why they, mm. some of these uh, extremists, as Fala said, are very combat ready. But we, we will find a balance eventually. Uh, the, maybe the question we missed to ask is what is feminism so that we can lay that foundation but that's another it. That's once, another, and for all. once and for all. That's another debate for another day. <laughs> but for me, I am actually 
very, very happy and excited about the goodwill that came the way of Momizi because it is an endorsement of family life and family values. And Absolutely. that's what we need to have a stable society. I want to thank you very much for being a part of the program today. Join us again same time tomorrow when we bring you another superb edition. I am Bukola Koka. I'm Jeffrey Uzama. Well, we're going through your zits right now on X. Thank you so much for being a part of that. Let's keep the conversation ongoing on X. Hashtag CTV Morning Brief. Till we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Sunrise Daily comes up right after this. Stay with us.